right now for my new design. Uh, basically, this is the design right here. I'll show you guys. You guys can look. It is a screen print, puff print, and rhinestone design, right? So it's a hoodie. It has like all different types of stuff. We're working on it right now. Samples are being cooked. I just sent this over to the manufacturer. Um, but people always ask me about tech packs, bro. It can be very simple. Like this is literally how simple my tech packs are. Um, it's nothing too crazy. It just shows off like what is important. And then we got a purple version and then a red version. I'm still trying to debate the other two colors I want to do. Um, but for now, I'm just going to get a sample of these three. And then if I like it, I'll end up making a sample of the, the rest of the colors I want to do. But yeah, we're just working on this tech, but we were just working on the tech pack, working on the designs with the brand. Um, like in 2024, I want to really focus on dropping like once a month because in the whole 2023, I dropped three times in the whole year, which is terrible in my opinion. I've been just like, it was a pretty, like, it was a good year sales wise, but I also learned a lot of lessons like with shipping and all that. Um, as you guys can see, we have a lot to ship today. Um, plus we have like another one of these stacks in the storage unit. So we're going to go ahead ship all this stuff out um and, 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 a, and a lot of stuff like that but like i was saying i learned a lot this year when it came to shipping um you know i felt like doing these super long shipping times was good until it got out of hand with my manufacturer messing up and it really took a big hit on my business um and this is like my what second starting my second year in clothing brand so i'm still learning as well you know there's still a lot to learn for me but yeah we're just gonna work on shipping and fixing that on a call with some of my students i usually do a weekly call inside of my program so today's that day where i do my weekly call just going to answer questions help them out um, and basically coach them so i'll show you guys a little bit of that not too much just because it is pretty long um so yeah let's go get into it like my goal for 2024 is like three four five hundred k a month with the brand i'm trying to get to like i want to get a half a million dollar a month so just so create as one cbo campaign do the targeting that you're doing whatever it is you do broad is what Pretty much i do um once you do that go ahead and just put all your winning creatives in one campaign all the creatives you tested that are winners throw them in one cbo start it at a hundred dollars a day and just let it run and then you scale a budget every day just finished the call um we answered a lot of questions it was pretty good it was good it was a good call you know we, we got some questions answered i gave them some tips and stuff um if you guys do want to join that link will be down below um but yeah now we're gonna get into the interesting part of the day this bad boy right here. We may also go to the range as well as like a little fun thing to do. I have this podcast interview thing at eight o'clock. I don't really want to do it right today. It's not a good day for me to do it, but I'm not going to bail out on the guy. So we're going to um, do that, answer some questions, help him out. And yeah, we can keep going from there. Bro, just had, just got mail from the IRS. It's not a good feeling when you get mail from the IRS, bro. I'm not going to lie. I can't show y'all what it says, but I'll read Bro, they're asking for $30. There's no way they sent me mail because I owe $30. Bro, these the IRS is the greediest people I've ever met in my life, bro. It's 30. I swear to, it's literally $30, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna try to show this without showing any important info, but $30. Like, bro. My heart drop, bro. Whenever the IRS send me something, I pay my taxes and all that, but it's still, it's scary when the IRS literally mails you, bro. And that's crazy. That literally just happened while we were recording. Um, IRS sent me mail. They're asking for $30. I'll go ahead and pay that later today. So we got all these orders right here to package these ones. We have a lot to do. Got some over there that were um, already packaged from before. But yeah, we got a lot to package. We only got 12 boxes. We're still missing like 50 um, and stuff like that, so... Yeah, we're, we're, we're missing a lot of stuff, you know, it's it's not easy, um, this, this stuff isn't easy, bro. Yeah, we still got a little bit of inventory in here as well, like stacked up back there, um, some old pre-made inventory, but yeah, we're gonna be coming out this storage unit too, soon, the brand has gotten way too big for us to keep operating out of a storage unit, it, it's, it's just gotten too big, the operation is getting too big, so... After these bulk orders are finished and everything is done, we're going to switch to a 3PL, someone that's going to handle all our packaging and shipping. Um, but until then, I guess we got to stug it out in this storage unit and deal with this shit. You said what? I don't need to be asleep. Bro, I sleep at like 9 p.m. I'll be out like a light early now. I'll sleep at like 9, wake up at like 6, start working around like 8. Cause I'd be chilling in the morning. That's a bad habit I'll do right now. I'd be chilling on TikTok for like an hour or two. I gotta stop doing that 
scrolling on TikTok in the morning and shit, bro. It's, I don't know, bro. It's something I'm trying to stop in 2024. And another thing I want to stop is working with this manufacturer, bro, because this is actually ruining my business, bro. Like, if I... I don't know, bro. Like, he's actually going to make my business collapse. Damn near filed for bankruptcy because of him. This is why you can't work with beginner factories, bro. They can't handle the amount of the orders we get. They cannot handle it, bro. That's why you gotta go to China, bro. But China, but China manufacturers take forever. And they expensive as shit. But look, though. I had a China manufacturer DM me saying they'll give me... They'll match the price I pay with Pakistan. So... Do that. But they told me 27-day production time. Like, yeah, okay. Like, I'm gonna wait four months for my, my bulk order to come. I mean, I'm already doing it now with the Pakistan guys, so it does, does it really make a difference? It doesn't make a difference at all. Damn, I can't get this label. Damn, bro, yeah. This is, this is the day in the life of a business owner, right? Bro, a lot of people, like, literally think, like, my day in the life, running a brand is so perfect, like, oh, you're so lucky, you're going crazy with sales and all that. Like, I'm, I'm blessed to have people buy my clothes, but it's just, like, Dude, the biggest lesson of all was like, I have to make sure my manufacturing and my inventory is in check. I, I got too comfortable with this manufacturer and it, and it, and it low-key tore like my reputation out with my brand, like with customers, because people have been waiting months to get their orders and it's, that's not right, right? But it's like, it's only so much I can do, you know? Like, I'm trying my best to get these orders out. I'm not doing pre-orders no more. Um, my brand has gotten to a way too big of a scale to do pre-orders. Switching to this pre-made, 2024, I'm going crazy with the brand again, bro. Literally, I've been stagnant with the brand for like a month or two. I haven't been able to really grow it, grow it, um, just because of this manufacturing issue. So, once we figure out this manufacturing issue, once we get all these defects and people sorted out, customers happy, we're going to go ahead and switch to pre-made, have one to three day shipping. We're going to literally inventory check every item. Or if we're not going to inventory check, we're going to make sure the manufacturer just stops cooking the items, right? Make them actually good. Um, and then when a customer, we should have more happy customers. That's the whole goal, right? With my brand, I want to build more repeat customers and happy customers, right? So it is what it is. So barely packed anything you guys can see. Y'all think this is probably crazy. <sighs> but this is nothing. We still got a lot to do. Um, manufacturer literally... This is literally frying my business right now. Um, people haven't got their orders in like two months because of this manufacturer. I ran a pre-order and he messed the whole whole thing up. So I've been kind of silent. I don't know what to even tell customers because like this is hurting my business bad. I'm thinking like I'm just going to make a TikTok video, explain to them again what's going on. Hopefully, you know, I can just like figure out like how to even to get this fixed because this is actually getting crazy, you know. This is nothing. The fact that this is nothing shows that we have a lot to ship out. Um, and it's not our fault because when the orders come, we ship them out. But we're just missing inventory. So this manufacturer is going to have to remake over a thousand plus hoodies. So he's cooked on that. But yeah, I don't know. I might close my website down until everything is sorted. Making shipping updates is like literally the most depressing stuff in the world because it's like, bro, I don't know what to do. I'm in a position right now where it's just like the demand is too high and we cannot fulfill because our manufacturer just he he's a I don't know he just doesn't know what to do so I'm gonna call him after this and figure out what the hell he's doing bro why there's so much missing stuff why is everything defected why is there's so much so I don't know I'm gonna close the website down I have enough cash in the bank to hold up for a month of no sales I think but yeah it's stressful bro I don't know we'll figure it out uh, we had the range about to go shooting Everybody see how that is. Had a little bit of a stressful day at the unit packaging all those orders. Um, and we didn't even get through that many, which is the sad part. So we just we gonna figure it out, bro. Um like this is this is the part of business people don't show. That's why I wanted to do these vlogs. I wanna do two to three vlogs a week just to show you guys the authentic side of business and the shit I go through that's not all all glamour. So yeah. I'm gonna just keep praying, hopefully everything gonna get fixed. Um y'all pray for me in the comments because I'm really trying to get all this stuff fixed so I can really scale this brand to like three, four hundred k a month um, and stuff like that. So 
I don't know. Stuff like this doesn't really stress me out. Like when stuff is going wrong in the business and it's like very major stuff that's not going right, it don't really stress me out because I'm no, I know I'm 19 years old. You know, I still got years ahead of me to go ahead and, and get to the top still. So I'm not in a rush. I'm not competing with nobody. I'm worried about just learning skills, learning from my mistakes. Yo, somebody letting, somebody letting an LMG go back there. But yeah, I'm just worried about learning from my mistakes and, and getting to the top. So that's just some motivational words, you know. Even though you're young and if you get a big mess up like how I got a big mess up, don't let it discourage you. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, we at the gun range. Y'all see what's about to happen. Look at this, look at this build though. It's on safety, but look at this build. Yo, my boy Jason behind the camera, this is a crazy build. All right, so it is the next day. Um, we went to the range, got some shots up. Didn't get too much footage, but you know it was a good time. Had a had a blast over there, and yeah, pretty much that's what my day yesterday. You guys see, it's not all going out shopping and having fun and taking vacations all the time. I wanted to show you guys a realistic day in the life of like what I go through um, and stuff like that. So it was all right. You know, we had some issues with the manufacturer still. You guys see, I'm going to try to keep this as authentic as possible. I'm going to try to do at least two of these a week, one to two at least, and then one of my usual content. But I really want to start doing these vlogs more and really show you guys inside of my life. So if you guys would want more of these, let me know down below if I should do one or two of these a week um, and give you guys that content. But yeah, we're going to keep this really raw and authentic. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.